Okay, I think we are on to our last speaker, Ned Jacobs, Neighborhoods for a Sustainable Vancouver. Thank you and good afternoon. Neighborhoods for a Sustainable Vancouver encourages the City of Vancouver to not accept the currently proposed regional growth strategy. There are numerous problems with the proposal that are not in the best interests of the City. The Regional Growth Strategy Bylaw was introduced on November 12, 2010. A public hearing was then immediately called and completed in three weeks. No hearing was held in the largest municipality, the City of Vancouver. After the public hearing, Metro Vancouver would not allow members of the public to confer with their elected officials on the RGS. To properly address the many concerns about the RGS, it requires more time to consider the alternatives to the final draft of the bylaw. Therefore, we request that the City request a delay in the further consideration of the proposed regional growth strategy to enable a proper assessment of the complex issues that the document raises and the appropriate city response given the lack of consultation with the citizens of the City of Vancouver, the inadequate public hearing process, and the significance of the changes the regional growth strategy would entail. Two, provide an independent third-party legal opinion of the impact of the regional growth strategy on the City of Vancouver and its citizens. Three, reconsider other more effective options to achieving the stated goals of the proposed regional growth strategy for the City of Vancouver and the region. And four, defer approval of any major region-wide land use policy until it has gone to a referendum. This would also help ensure the media coverage and public engagement it deserves. The Urban Development Institute has informed its members that the RGS is the most important document that Metro Vancouver has ever created. We agree. Mr. Mayor, prior to your election, you and nine members of this City Council agreed that there should be a larger role for scientific polling and referenda in determining the level of public support for major civic policy decisions, which this certainly is. We call upon you now to honor this commitment. Some additional key points. Since the special study areas have an approval requirement for exclusion of only a 50% plus one vote of a quorum, of the Metro Board with no public hearing, these will fuel land speculation, making these uneconomical to farm or retain as protected areas. This also applies to land adjacent to the urban containment boundary that can be converted to industrial with the same threshold of 50% plus one vote and no public hearing. The Agricultural Land Commission and the West Coast Environmental Law Society have confirmed that the RGS designation of cer certain areas which are currently within the ALR is illegal under the Act, and the wording in the RGS does not adequately address this. This inconsistency must be resolved for the RGS bylaw to be legal. It would be irresponsible to enact a bylaw knowing full well that it has, that it has legal problems and that these are not mere technicalities, but bear directly on the purpose and validity of the policy. Because thousands of hectares of forested land in the district of West Vancouver, above the 1,200-foot line, have been left within the urban containment boundary or in special study areas, the RGS could pave the way for development that would ruin the iconic natural mountains that are so important to environmental protection, recreation, and views from Vancouver. And this is not a slip this is a slippery slope that we do not want to go up. Regarding TransLink role, role, it is fundamentally wrong to allow an unelected body to be defined in the RGS as an effective local government with the same standing as a municipality. In a democracy, appointed government is an oxymoron. The legislation that has given TransLink rights to fund transit through development under a Hong Kong model, and which also sets out the regulations for the regional growth strategy, was created and enacted without any public consultation. 
the legislation needs to be changed, including a full public consultation on the matter, before a new regional plan should be considered. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs.